Coach B here with your personal and professional development message. It is December 31st, 2019, the last day of 2019, the last day of the year. It is New Year's Eve and we are jumping, whether we're ready or not, into 2020. You mean we, we need to have some 2020 vision having a vision and of what we want to do, what we want to become, what the goals it is that we have that we want to achieve, how to better our lives and live the best that we possibly can, become the very best that we can be. And in that, here is just one approach, not three, not four, not five, but just one. One that has made a lasting positive impact that allows me to progress mentally, emotionally, and as well as all of the opportunities and the programs and the projects that come about in my life each and every day. Um, this one approach, this one life approach, this one way of everyday living really has helped pave the way to help me become who it is that I am today. As today, and 44 years old, I'm an entrepreneur, but mainly in these aspects. Uh, I'm an author, a success coach, life coach, um, keynote speaker, radio show host. And so I speak and train people into two major things in terms of not me just telling them exactly what to do, but stirring their heart, mind, and soul, whether I'm on Island Block Radio, The Coach V Show, or on these type of videos, or speaking one-on-one -on -one with my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients into them achieving and uh, being successful in their, what they want to do in life. It is this one basic fundamental approach is staying and always being positive. I know that's not a very easy thing it is for any of us to do is to stay positive all the time. And I'm not saying uh, to be unrealistic about some of the negatives that are going on in your life. And I'm not trying to discount uh, anything it is that you, me, or we are going through in our lives. I understand there are illnesses, sicknesses, diseases, major hardships, natural catastrophes that happen that could just wipe people out emotionally, financially, and just have no base where they're out on the street sometimes. But in terms of this one life approach for your consideration, not telling you what to do, I'm just saying consider this. It has made a major impact into going from an illegal alien, uh, not having multiple opportunities, uh, being fired, uh, dropping out of college, um, starting a brand new career, uh, having one kid, being married, having two kids, and going through a multiple uh, drama and also negative circumstances and failure and hardships and embarrassments and setbacks and the list can go on and on for the human experience not just mine but also for yours but I am saying this this one life approach of staying and being positive after the initial reaction and the shock of the oh shit what just happened like what do we do next how do we faith forward? How do we move forward? How do we progress on from where we are currently, whether it is a negative or a, a positive situation, is moving forward positively all the time? And I do believe that, and those of you that are connected with me know, I write about this kind of stuff all the time, is... You know, being positive isn't faking that everything in my life or our life is perfect. It's having the courage. Positivity is having the courage to be positive despite what is going on in our life. Because I do know this. There is nothing positive as an outcome that, got, that comes from being negative that comes from misery, that comes from being vengeful, angered, or frustrated. The only thing that comes from that is what is reflected within in terms of our emotions and not because Coach V says so, but because life says so. So as you, me, and we jump into the most amazing year that we've ever had, the strongest and most courageous year we've ever had, where we make the changes in our lives that we finally have wanted to do for maybe decades, to quit the vices or become our very best, open up opportunities, try things that we've never done before, be positive 
Know that you can. Why not you? If somebody else can do it, be positive. You can too. If you've never done it or if you've never seen anyone in your family or anywhere in your immediate circle do it, no one in your network has done it, be positive. Try. Why not? You and me get this gift of life to live that we did not ask for. We did not volunteer for. And despite what happens in 2020, negative or positive, pick up the pieces, make sure that you're grateful for the people around you and the opportunity and the successes and the achievements that you had and move forward positively. Because positivity now regenerates and produces more positivity. It attracts more of the goodness and the success and the achievement, the joy, peace, happiness, fulfillment in life that we want to. Not only we, are, are, are they going to be accessible because you, me, and we will chase after it, but because of the fact that we are positive, those positive things will relentlessly pursue and chase you and me too. And again, not because I say so, but because life says so. That is your personal and professional development message from your boy, Coach V. Happy New Year. Let's make it a good one. One love, mad respect, always from your boy, Coach V. Peace. Billy, I'm the folk out top, I'll have a two-year-old. They call me Coach V.